DEA says they're taking this step to fight the health threat vaping is causing to children and young teens. So now local drop-offs won't only take your prescription meds, but vaping devices and cartridges. Several local police departments, including Shawnee and Stillwater, will have drop-off locations. We certainly uh, appreciate the partnerships with our law enforcement agencies to uh, participate in this, this program. The DEA asking that all batteries be taken out of all vapes, warning that if not, they won't be accepted. It gives individuals an option to safely dispose of the products. That way they're not just discarded inappropriately or you know, put down or just handed out or picked up by other individuals. The Oklahoma Department of Health has confirmed more than three cases of severe lung injuries associated with this month. Some doctors saying they should be banned. Oftentimes it's required hospitalization for more intensive care uh, where people may need breathing treatments, ventilatory support, uh, and you know respiratory care. Drop-offs will be collected Saturday from 10 to 2. You can find your location here on the DEA's website. In Oklahoma City, Portia Riley, KOCO 5 News.